What's up ninjas? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to an upper body workout with Pamela. Today we're talking about exercises that target saggy arms, back fat and just tone your upper body in general. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe. So before we start, we'll identify each problem, run through each exercise and then at the very end I'll have my own personal advice to make sure to watch until the very end. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Most people are insecure about saggy or mummy arms, two, bra or back fat, three, muffin rolls or love handles. But how do we get rid of them? What are the workouts to prevent them? Let's get started. First up, we'll start with some warm ups where you will literally be warming up your whole upper body by using various techniques of stretches. You can use bands, you can use a rowing machine, or you can use your own body weight. But importantly, you need to stretch and warm up your upper body your fingers, your wrist, your elbows, your shoulder, shoulder blades, neck, etc. The first exercise is called bend assisted pull ups. Now, this workout works primarily on your lats or the area that is prone to bra or back fat. What you will need for this is a strong resistant band and if you don't have those, you can use a pull-up machine. You will also need a friend or a stool to help you to pull yourself up or to get a level higher and then make sure that if you're using a friend to put the band at the right place because you do not want it to snap back in your face. For execution, make sure that you pull yourself up with your shoulder blades locked. Then, once you pull yourself up, make sure your chin is above the bar. You pause for a few seconds to hold the tension. Importantly, do not drop yourself because when you do that, you lose the tension in your arms and in your back. And when you're done with your pull-ups, have a friend help you remove the bends. Here, my homegirl Pamela is helping me so that I do not have the bends slap me across the face. Next up is my favorite dumbbell arm rows. This works your lats, traps and terrace groups, the area that is most prone to back fat. What you will be doing is as if rowing the dumbbells. You need to squeeze your shoulder blades together and then keep your knees locked at all times. Don't forget to do that mini chest pump and importantly, do not drop your arms. To switch it up, you can do singular arm rows. You can either start with the left hand side or the right hand side, but remember the technique is still the same. The fourth exercise that is great for saggy or mommy arms and also great for your shoulders is seated shoulder press. Firstly, pick up your dumbbells from the floor and put them on your legs. Secondly, push the dumbbells over your head and make sure that the dumbbells are touching each other. When you're coming down, make sure that your arms are parallel to the floor or are at the 90 degrees. Keep your core tight and importantly, control your weight. To switch it up, you can do a single arm shoulder press. You can start either with the right hand side or with the left hand side. But remember, the technique is still the same. Another exercise that is great for saggy or mommy arms is tricep kicks. This exercise works primarily on the long head of the triceps and it's great especially for the area that gains more fat or for the area that is to sag more on the arms. To execute, you grab a dumbbell or a chin plate, make sure that your elbow is stuck in towards your body, then form a 90 degrees between your arm and your forearm and then from there all you need to do is extend your forearm backwards, keeping your elbows locked at all times. Another exercise that you should try are overhead tricep extensions. These prevent and tone saggy arms. So how you perform them is that you grab a dumbbell with an open arm, place the dumbbell behind your head, keep your elbows locked, and then lower the dumbbell behind your head forming a 90 degree angle. The last exercise for triceps are the dips. My testimonial is that I used to have saggy arms but with the previous exercises I showed you guys, I saw a major improvement. If you're a beginner, you can use your own body, but if you're an advanced dipper, you can use a plate or a dumbbell. Then with that said, keep your thighs parallel to the floor, forming a 90 degrees. Dip your body and then keep your elbows locked. Also remember to form a 90 degrees angle between your forearm and your elbow when you are dipping. The last exercise that is primarily just for toning is bicep curls using some dumbbells. So what you want to do, grab some dumbbells, tucking your 
elbows towards your body. Then curl your forearms towards your chest. And when you are lowering your forearm, make sure that you form a 90 degrees between your forearm and arm or that your forearm is parallel to the floor. For definition, we are going to add a little bit of a twist. It's still similar to the normal bicep curls, but all you do is turn your dumbbells outwards and do a normal bicep curls with your dumbbells touching your shoulders and tell me that you do not feel this way. <laughs> okay guys, we've come to the final and most important part of this video, which is my personal advice. And I want you guys to understand that sometimes saggy arms or mommy arms, gaining weight or just the accumulation of bra fat is genetic or there are some predisposing factors that add into it. But however, with a good diet, you can prevent this. Also, if you work out on a regular, you can minimize the formation of saggy arms, gaining weight and just bra fat. Lastly, if you are consistent with your workouts, trust me, you will see drastic changes. The key is to be consistent, have a good diet and work out on a regular. Well, that's all we have for today. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and stay tuned. Do check out this video on the wide. These are the seven workouts that grew my booty or you can click the link above to watch it. So until I further next time, Bye ninjas!